Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm just doing a simple leopard print gel polish design. And um, so I've already extended the nails with my builder gel and I filed and shaped them. And I'm going in with the OPI's Black Onyx. And I'm going to put this on the little finger, the index finger and halfway down the thumb. So this is the colour Mocha from Halo Gel Polish. I've already applied the second coat of um, the Black Onyx. I did that off camera and I'll also do the two coats of the Black Onyx off camera as well just to keep the length of the video down um, for you guys. So now that I've applied um, two coats of the colour to all of the nails, I'm going in with my non-white top coat. And for some reason there seems to be hairs. I don't know where they come from, they just magically appear from when you take the, um, the nails out from the lamp and go to put on the top coat. These hairs just appear from nowhere. So, um, over the mocha colour I'm doing a matte top coat because when I'm doing any type of, of nail art I prefer to do it on a matte surface. So this is the foil mate from Glitter Planet. It's a, a nail uh, foil gel and you cure it in the lamp for 30 seconds. So I'm putting it on um, over the mocha colour and this is going to start to create the leopard print design. So I'm going to be using this nail foil. Um, I've been told if it has a white backing, you need to take um, the, the white back off with just a, a acetone or nail polish remover. So now that I've cured the gel, I'm just pressing it onto um, the, foil, the foil gel and just ripping it off and that's going to leave behind the gold.
the black uh, nail art gel I'm using today is from Nail Sugar and I'm just going to outline around the gold and that's going to create the leopard print. On the thumbnail I'm just going to put some of the foil gel just along where the black and the mocha meet and I'm going to cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds and then I'm going to press more of the gold foil onto it. Now I've finished with the design, I'm just going to go ahead and um, top coat all the nails in the non-white top coat. Whenever you're working with gel polish, especially on coffin shaped nails, you can sometimes lose the sharpness of your shape. So what I do is I would um, press my nails down along the sides of the nails and along the free edge and that way um, it will keep the coffin shape nice and sharp. So I'm going to now with just some of the um, gold metal studs and just some of the rhinestones and I'm just going to do a different design on every nail just to jazz them up a little bit and then I'll cure them um, in the lamp for one minute. I've actually um, applied a fresh uh, bit of, of top coat to the cuticle areas just so that I can cure those um, rhinestones and metal studs to the nails.
aren't they so fiddly to work with? If any, any of my clients that know me know I absolutely hate working with rhinestones. Um, they're just so fiddly. So if you have liked this set, please give my video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Um, you would be helping me a lot. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.